All right, this is fourth grade, module six, lesson two. And in this lesson, we continue connecting the, uh, the metric system, the decimals in the metric system, with fractions. So tenths, point, point five, point six, are going to be connected with five tenths or six tenths. Uh, specifically, this time, we're going to be talking about fractions or numbers greater than one. So let's get started. So we're connecting three things, if you really think about it. We're connecting a ruler and the number line, which really this n ruler is representing kind of like a number line. And we're also relating that with like a tape diagram, and we're relating, relating it with the area model. So let's connect all of these for a second. So let's say we're going to talk about 2.4, which we know now 2.4, hmm, what is that going to be? Well, it's going to be a fraction, but let's wait until we get there. So 2.4, what does that look like? Well, if we zoom in, and I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to move it down here, and I'm going to zoom in. Whoa. So there's my ruler, and we're doing 2.4. So 2.4 means you're going to start right here at 0, and if you travel this far, you have traveled 1. And if you've traveled this far, you have traveled two. Now, if we travel all the way over here, that's three. So two, uh, the point four portion is going to be, you'll notice right here, these millimeters from two to three has been broken up into ten equal spaces. One, two, three, four, five is halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so th there's 10 equal little size spaces here. So if we want to do 2.4, we've already traveled 2. So 0.4 means we're going to travel 4 right here, 2.4. We're going to travel 4 more of these little lines. So this space right here is 0.4. Now I'm going to zoom out so that we can see what we're talking about here. So right here, going from here to here is 1, and then going from here to here is 1, and I'm going to move that and make it more perfect. And then this little piece is 4 tenths, 4 out of the 10, so it's 4 tenths. Now, what does that tell us? That tells us we now know, and uh, where is my fraction? There it is, there's my fraction. And so we now know that 2.4 is the same thing as 2 plus 0 0.4, because that's what we did. We did 2 plus then we added a little 0.4. And that's the same thing as 2 plus 4 tenths. And that's the same thing as 2 and 4 tenths. So we're really trying to connect 2.4 to 2 and 4 tenths because they are the same thing. Now, we've talked about this the ruler. We've talked about a little bit of a number line. Now, a number line, another way to think of the number line is we could think of it like this. So you've got your number line. Here's 0, and let's do 1 here. Here's 2. Here's 3. And then if we wanted to, well, we could go 2. So 2 means you're going to start here and you're going to go 1, 2. Now, if we wanted to locate where is that point 4, what we're going to do is we're going to start here with our number line and we're going to cut it into uh, 10 equal size pieces. And we're going to begin by cutting it in half and then cutting each half into 5 pieces. So that gives us 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so now, if we want to go four little spaces, that's going to send us straight to 2.4. So what is that? That's a 1 plus a 1 plus a 0 0.4. And so we're really kind of connecting the rulers to a line, to a number line right here. And then the last thing that we also want to connect it to is an area model. So 2.4. What does that 2.4 look like? Well, we're going to start by drawing a hole. 
So here is one whole, and you think of it as one whole brownie. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that whole brownie, and I'm going to cut it up into 10 equal strips. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have this one whole extra, think of it like a brownie, one whole brownie, and I'm going to make a couple of copies of these. And there we go. So really, if you want to think about it, this is one whole. This is one whole. Now, that gives us our two. Here's one hole right here, shaded in. And here's one hole shaded in. So that gives us our two. Now, how are we going to get this point four? Well, the point four is um, we are going to shade in just four of those ten strips. But instead of thinking of it as 0 0.4, we could think of it as four out of ten. And so we're going to shade in four out of ten. There we go, four out of ten. And so that's another way of us showing that 2.4 and 2 and 4 tenths are equivalent. So boy, we're connecting a lot of stuff here. We're connecting the area model, we're connecting rulers, we're t connecting with little strips of number, like kind of length, I guess is a better way to say it. We're also connecting it to a number line here, and then we're just also connecting it kind of from an abstract, just using logic point of view. Boy, a lot of connections going on in this one video. So the directions say for each length, uh, draw a line segment that is that length, and then express each measurement as an equivalent mixed number, meaning a fraction, right? So we're going to take our ruler, and let's do 2.6 centimeters. So I'm going to zoom in here so that we can see what does 2.6 centimeters look like. So 2.6 centimeters means we want to start here at zero, and we're going to go two. So there's our two. Now, what is this six tenths? What is this point six? It's going to be six of these little millimeters. So it's going to be six more. So that's going to go just one little bit beyond the um, halfway mark. So from here to here is two, but a better way to record that is rather than indicating the spaces, I'm going to call that zero, I'm going to call this two, and then what is this little piece? Well, that was six-tenths more, so that means we are located at 2.6. So I'm going to zoom out. So there is our, whoa, there is our number line, and now we're going to connect it to the mixed number. So 2.6 centimeters is equal to 2 and 6 tenths centimeters. So here the directions say write this in word form, which is currently in like unit form or word form, and write it in decimal form, and then draw your model. Okay, so 2 ones and 4 tenths, that's going to be listed as 2.4. So how are we going to use the model? Well, if we want 2.4, that means we're going to want one here. We're going to want one here. Those are whole numbers. And then the next one, we're not going to want the whole thing. So we want this whole thing here. So I'm going to shade that in. We're going to want this whole thing, so I'm going to shade it in. But then, right here, we want four tenths. So we only want one, two, three, four. So we only want four tenths. Another way of saying that is four out of the ten. And so we're going to shade in four tenths right here. So that is our model representing 2.4, and so that's where we want to show that 2, um, we could go either way. I see what they've done. They've done it as a fraction, 
although they wanted us to start it out as a decimal. So you could go either way, parents and teachers. It really is not going to um, matter much mathematically. And that's, so 2.4 is equal to 2 plus 0.4, which is equal to 2 plus 4 tenths, which is equal to 2 and 4 tenths. All right, And that's the real point, is we want students to be able to recognize that 2.4 is the same thing as 2 and 4 tenths. So we could call this 2 and 4 tenths. Another opportunity for us to practice. Now this time it's 1 and 4 tenths. So we know that 1 and 4 tenths is going to be equal to 1.4. So now let's model that. And what, we, what we're going to do to model it is we're going to shade in one hole. So there's one hole. Now, how are we going to model that 4 tenths or that 0.4? Well, I'm going to zoom in, and the way we're going to model that 0.4 is we're going to shade in just 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 of those strips. And so if we wanted to, we could show that, all right, so this is our 1, and this is our 4 out of 10. And so to connect all this, we could say 1 and 4 tenths is equal to 1 plus 4 tenths, which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.4, which is equal to 1.4. Or more efficiently, just, just say 1 and 4 tenths is equal to 1.4, because that's really what we, what we want. Now, Kind of a cool question is how much more is needed to get to 5? So basically they're saying how much is this piece right here? Well, that's pretty straightforward. We see that this is one hole. We see that this is one hole. And we see that this is one hole. So what do we have so far? Well, we have one hole, one hole, one hole. So that's three holes. And then, taking a look at this extra portion right here, how much is this right here? Well, that's six-tenths. Because thinking like a number bond, if you've got four-tenths, then what are you missing out of the hole? is six-tenths. So this portion right here is six-tenths. So we can shade that in. And so... How much more is needed to get to 5? We can see that it's 3 holes plus 6 tenths. 3 holes and 6 tenths. Or we could have written it as 3.6. And the last one, they give us an improper fraction. So I want you to look at that. That's 33 tenths. Well, how much is this piece right here? Well, that piece is one whole, but you can also think of it as ten tenths. And then you could think of this as one whole, which is ten tenths. And you could think of this as one whole, which is ten tenths. All right? So 33 tenths, you can think of it as 30 tenths. Now, how did I get that? Well, because ten tenths plus another ten tenths plus another 10 tenths is 10, 20, 30 tenths. Plus, we have an extra little 3 tenths left over. And so, that's going to be 3 holes plus 3 tenths. Another way to think of that is 3.3. .3. So, if we wanted to model that, we would say, well, we're going to shade in, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. We're going to shade in, oh, let's do it in blue, uh, all 10 here, plus another 10 here, so that makes 20 tenths. And we're going to shade in another 10 here, so that makes 30 tenths. And then what do we need to shade in more? We need to shade in 3 tenths more, also known as 0.3. And so 3 tenths more is going to be this piece right here. And so that is what the picture is going to look like. And this is where we're connecting the fraction to the mixed number 
to the decimal. Boy, we're making lots of connections in this video. And then the last little question here is how much more is needed to get to 5? Well, you have this one hole right here, one hole, plus these 7 tenths, one hole plus 7 tenths. So we can either write it as 1 and 7 tenths, or we can write it as 1.7. And that wraps up 4th grade Module 6 Lesson 2 using the metric measurement system and the area model to help students understand the connection between decimals and fractions.